What's going on guys? This is Easy Breezy and we are back with another hair sponsor. Thank you so much you amazing hair for sending us this 613 Platinum Blonde Lace Front Wig. So you guys, do you remember this client from one of my old videos? This is my cousin Tamara and today I'm doing her hair again. We're doing like a unicorn pastel type of color and crimps. So you guys can see the black roots on the wig. I actually did not do these. The wig came with the roots. So first and foremost, we can go ahead and cut the excess lace off. Now I'm gonna cut a little bit more shape on the forehead just so I can see how I want it to look before I glue it down. Now I'm going to take my eyeliner pencil and just trace the shape of the hairline. Let's get ready to glue. So as I'm applying the glue, I'm gonna make sure it's at least half an inch away from my client's hairline. I don't want it to touch her hair because when she's at home taking off the glue and trying to take the wig off herself, if the glue is all tangled up in her hair, it's gonna be hard to get off. All right, now I can take the back of my tweezers and spread the glue a little bit. Let's allow the glue to turn clear. Now we can apply our second coat. So once the second coat dries, now we can go ahead and place the lace down. Now let's give it a good press. Oh, oh, look at that color. But wait, hold on. Can we just have a moment of silence for her makeup? And yes, she does it herself. Now I'm cutting the excess, excess lace off so there's no edges sticking up. Now I'm gonna take a little bit more sea breeze so we can erase that eyeliner. And now I'm using Fawn by LA Girl Pro. I'm gonna try to make this lace blend a little more with her skin because for some reason it wasn't able to tint. And um, yeah, that's a problem. <laughs> All right, now we can take our Tropical Root Setting Foam, pump it over the top of the hair and comb it through so we can get ready to do our mold. So we went ahead and changed it to a side part. All right, now for this part, 
we can go ahead and pluck the part so we can make it more defined and just make it a little bit more realistic. Alright, once that's done, now we can take our comb and part out a thin row of hair in the front so we can get ready to do our baby hair. So I'm molding it with the Tropical Roots foam and to shape the baby hair, I'm using my comb and smooth method, comb with your right hand and smooth with your left. Perfecto! Now I'm going to take a little bit of powder and put it over the part so it looks like more of her skin instead of like gray. <laughs> Perfect! Now let's sit her under the dryer for about 15 minutes. So I definitely thought I was recording when I was blow drying her hair out, but I wasn't. So we're just gonna catch it to where I'm flat ironing. So I'm just flat ironing the edges and the top of her hair so it can be nice and straight. Then we're gonna go ahead and start our crimps. All right, so a little lesson about crimps that I learned over time is there's two looks that you can go for. One is the soft crimp look, and the second one is hard, crispy, you know, really perfect like old school. And today I want to get the crispy look, so I'm going to make sure I hit every single piece with spritz. But if you're doing like a soft look and you want them to look more like waves instead of like a you know, like a perfect hairstyle, then you would do it without spritz.
Don't be looking at me. <laughs> So this wig was super soft, easy to work with, did not shed or tangle, and you amazing hair, you are breezy approved. Messed up the crap. Though, no. Okay. This right here has to be my favorite look to date. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications. Trying to be more like showing before and after. I'm having so much fun today at the Beauty Mastermind with Breezy. Okay, we've been talking just a lot about how to be a business owner, even if you're not in the hair industry. I'm a lash tech myself, and I gained a lot of knowledge just about how to push through to keep going, stay motivated. I'm here at the Easy Breezy Women Empowerment, and it is amazing, and I'll definitely be back to the next event. Um, I'm here to network with people. I'm from Pittsburgh, and I plan on moving to Atlanta. I just want to network with different people down here and get more and more advice to help everyone become successful. Okay, we're the red group. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Your. She said it here. Oh. Um, head. Yeah. Your head. head. Your yeah. tail. Let's get it. Every cosmetology test is made out of two parts of what I'll say. What color cancels out green? What color cancels out green? We can't help yellow. What color does the product shimmer light cancel? Uh, brassy. The orange brassy. Alright, you ready? Hold on. You ready? <laughs> what color does the product shimmer lights cancel? Say. Blonde. What is the product color oops used for? To correct the mistake. <laughs> what day do stylists normally take off? Sunday. What two payroll systems can a salon be based upon? POS. What does that mean? Um, commission or you can um, pay booth rent. What is a man's hair piece formally called? Today. What inch hair did Nicki Minaj bring back in the style? 450. Oh, which one? 40. The winners! Of the beauty next to mine. Come on. It's the way. It's the way. Mastermind event. If you didn't make it to this one, make sure you catch us next time. See y'all later.